It, 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 there's no way America can support itself with the current system, man. Yeah, it's like 20 trillion dollars in debt. That's outrageous, man. And each of you Americans, you're in debt to who? To, to the elites. Yeah. You're all bought and paid for. You, you guys are owned, man. Yeah, everybody's in debt, man. You know? But we, under the banner of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're free men. That's right, that's right. Scripture right. said we are free men, man. We free from all the lies and hypocrisy, man. And every force is gonna protect us, man. Alright? So take the millstone and grind mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg. So that's like a parable. That's like a parable when you um you know lift up a woman a uh, skirt or leg, you can see her nakedness, man. And that's what you that's what you, you know it's in today. You see an American nakedness for all the lies and hypocrisy that's been spewing out of his mouth to all you people for, for centuries, man. For decades and for ages. Alright? <clears throat> it says, uh. So take the millstone and grind mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will meet, I will not meet thee as a man. And that's the one you call Jesus Christ. The real name in the Hebrews, y'all was shy. He's not coming back in his mortal flesh, man. He's coming back in what you call an angelic force. A UFO, man, is going to jack you people up. In the midst of him jacking you people up, he's going to beam up his men, 144,000, and the one-third women and children and friends of the prophets, man. That's right. That's so we're going to get saved out of this, this hellhole. This, 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 uh, this death and destruction that's coming, man. Okay. Quick preset. The Revelations 18 and 20. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. Yeah, man, we're going to rejoice, man. We're going to literally rejoice with tears yeah, and with yeah, gladness, yeah. man. We're going to hug each other, man. We're going to see how shy, man. You know, he's going to be tall on us, but, man, you know, like the water, you know, brother, you know. Our brock the y'all, brock the y'all was shy, man. You know? We're going we gonna to get, we're going to know what real wine tastes like in the kingdom. Yeah, hey, yeah, con. We, we, you, you can actually be able to see real color, man. Because right now, this, this place is, uh, for you, if you would call a beautiful day and you see a nice meadow and the sunshine, that's, that's nothing, man. This place is dross and dull. These trees, full nothing. Spent, yeah. yeah, nothing has its full power no more, man. The it's color. Essence. Yeah, the color of these leaves is dull, man. It's like, a, almost like a pastel, how it, it's, it's dull. It, it try to look bright, but it's dull. You see all these people with those bright highlighter colors running around, trying to bring some vibrancy. That shit's brighter than nature itself, man. It's sad, man. You know? It says, uh, for the Most High hath avenged you on her. Yeah, the Most High is going to avenge uh, taking down a so-called white man. But he's going to take his vengeance, the so-called white man, and the EU and the NATO and the United States because of the Israelites. Because of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, this world wouldn't exist if the Israelites did not exist, man. This whole entire planet was made for the Israelites' sake, man. All right, our planet has been invaded, man, by the by the body snatchers. <laughs> <laughs> the body snatchers, God. You know, that's what they, they physically yeah, and spiritually man. did it, man. Did it, man? Yeah. There's a wicked, degenerate, evil force of of, of crackers controlling this place, man. All right. Oh, you guys from right? free men or? or oh, I was gonna, I was gonna pull it and then uh, I ran, I started running into other things. Okay, uh, Isaiah 47 and 4. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is His name, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, the Holy One of Israel. Sit down silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, man. Sit down silent and get thee into darkness, man. Henry Ford's about to uh, waste this whole place, man. This place is going to be obsolete and will no more exist in history, man. When you get into the kingdom and go through the history books, you're going to see the beginning and ending of this place, man. This place is going to be turned into a desert. No more commerce, no more, no more business, no more bullshit, man, literally, man. After this place is taken down, man. For thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms, man. 
And what's what's the uh what's the Statue of Li Liberty represents, man? The Lady of Kingdoms. The Statue of Liberty is a woman, man. All right. That's why uh New York, New York is um what you call New York, the uh the Empire State. The the mecca of the world is in New York City. The stock market is in New York City. And what statue you have there? The uh the uh the Statue of Liberty, man. The Lady of Liberty, man. Hey, All right. Hey, the scriptures tell you to give uh give no uh woman basically liberty to get abroad, man. <laughs> yeah, you know? right. And, and that's that was the whole purpose and sign of the Statue of Liberty was to show freedom. And and it it's it was supposed to look like a woman, but the damn thing looks like a man. Yep. Cause you know, that's just how that's how these devils are, man. They're they're androgynous, man. Yep, yep, exactly. Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, let me read this real quick. John 8 and 36. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Yeah, man. The Heavenly Father sent His Son back in the flesh, and now we got the Comforter in the Spirit. The Scriptures, man. Are we free men? These words are, are delightful, and they're, and they're true unto us, man. This, this, hey, man. This is why we are alive, man. This is what keeps us going. The Comforter, man. But what else is there to live for, man? To get rich and or die trying, right? To get a big booty bitch, and the majority of these women got fake asses now, man. Cellulite, cellulite. All right, I have a woman like that in society, man. That's problems, man. Because yep. that bitch is an attention whore, man. Yeah. I always wearing a tight ass shit to show him a fucking ass, man. Right. Cause these women are vain. Wait, right. they they want to. At first, they're looking good to cat to catch a man. But then now their excuse is all oh, I'm looking good because I want to look good for myself. Yeah, right, man. They're vain. It shows they, they, like yeah. you said, they're vain, man. That's why their whole social media is based upon vanity, man. Yeah. Everybody was taking them punk ass selfies and shit. Right. They're giving <laughs> their updates, so oh, I'm at Starbucks doing this. Who gives a fuck? Right. Because you people are empty, man. You people are all empty or insecure, man. Because you wanna have this light in you, man. So you wanna feel like you're part of something in society. Everybody want to be a dumbass rapper and shit. They have no type of substance coming out their mouth. Bunch of, bunch of bullshit. Right, everything's been said before, man. Now this new nigga, Fitty Wop, I call him Fit, Fitty Wasp. That whack ass nigga, man. All these rappers and all this music is trash. There's nothing new underneath the sun, man. Every couple of years you have a fucking uh, different boy band, an R&B girl band. Shit is whack, man. It's played out. There's no more talent in this land, man. America's finished, man. All right? I got some more. No, no, I got some. Oh, you know what? Let me get this. Colossians chapter 2, verse 18. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humil humility and worshiping of angels intruding into those things which he hath not seen Vainly puffed up by his fleshy mind. Yeah, you got false prophets out there, man. They're into these type of things, man. Yeah. Don't let these people out here beguile you. Only they like the Pope. Yeah. Like that whole Catholic religion, they got you worshiping Mary. And that and the uh the, the Mary statue is a damn Edomite. It's a, she's, she's a cracker, man. You only supposed to worship the, the Father and the Son, man. That's why we say call out y'all by Shimyao Shai, man. And that's it. Alright? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this, you know, we're in a, a voluntary humility, man, okay? Um, let me get this, this would be a better point. Uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 9, For I think that the Most High had set forth um, us, the apostles, last, yeah. as it were, appointed to death. Yeah, that's why we out here, man, because we are in the last days, and you see these men out here teaching this word in truth, man. He set forth the apostles last because we're going to be raised, risen up in the last days. Hey, and that, that's, that's, that's spiritual because um, uh, the elders, right, uh, for, first it was just, it was just, those were men of the Lord. And then, and then, uh, and then we called them our elders. And then all these other groups started calling themselves elders. And now, and now it's the last title, apostles, man. We're at the end of this thing, you know. And some of us brothers are evangelists, man. Some of us brothers are helps. Yep. Different offices, man. This thing is real. Yeah. And he said uh, uh, even a friend of the prophet shall receive of the prophet's reward. reward. 
and not not everyone is a friend, man. Just because they know the word or they study the truth or because they were in a camp and then they took time off and now they're going back out doesn't make them a friend, man. A friend, a friend is someone that's with you when thou shalt miscarry. Yeah. Not someone that takes breaks on the fr on a friendship. So, yeah, yeah, you know, hey, some guys, some guys are assholes and want to be a friend, want to be a help. When you, when the Most High had put your hand to a plow as a worker, man. Yep. And then you took your hand away. Hey, you you look back, and that's on that's on you, man. The Most High has no pleasure in fools. You basically made an oath saying that you were going to commit to this thing, and then and then you took your hand away. He's yeah, got no man. pleasure in fools. Yeah, you got to be a soldier, man. Just like uh. When you join the military, you sign that contract. You 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 you, uh, you take that oath, whatever the crap you do, man. I forgot yeah. the hell you call it. Con, that, you, that, that's you your duty, in, man. Yeah. yeah, you swearing in, and this is spiritually what we doing, man. Mm -hmm. We t we pick up the plow, man. This is our duty. You know, and thick and through through th thin, you gotta come out here and teach this word, teach the gospel, man. And prophesy against this kingdom. No matter what, man. This is our duty. This is our honor, man. Mm -hmm. right. It says, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. We are a spectacle out here unto the world and to angels unto men. You might walk by and look at us like, we, like we're crazy, whatever, man. But everything we're saying is happening before your eyes. That before has blocked your mind frame, man, to know what's really going on. Everything we're speaking out of this Bible is happening, man, on a daily basis, man. Wars are rumors of wars, man. Famines. Great earthquakes in diverse places, man. All these things are happening. World War III, the mark of the beast. All right? All this thing is happening according to the Bible, man. And the Roman Catholic Church is in the book of Revelation as the false prophet, man. And what do you know? That goddamn gringo is out there in, uh, in New York doing his bullshit. Got the SWAT team geared up. It was showing that man of the Lord, man. Going back to what I said earlier, Y'all yeah. was shy the way you called Jesus Christ. They had a you know a SWAT team and all that, man. What he what he told Peter when he, when he cut off with that that uh, that uh, that guard's ear, man. Hey, you live by the sword, you die, die by, by the sword. They're going to show the Pope they're not men of the Lord, man. They don't have faith, man. Why yeah. do you need SWAT team if you got if you're a man of faith? All that bullshit, man. And live in these high ass buildings and stuff. Probably got a bunch of little boys kidnapping there, raping the shit out of them, man. Yeah. Who knows what, man? Kanye, they probably got a human-sized life crate full of little little kids, man. Yeah, man, all types of sacrifices they got going on in there, man. All right? We come out here bold in the spirit, man. All right? Yep. We the only thing that, that, that makes sense on this planet, man. Everything else does not make sense. And people just like, whatever, man. This is how it, that's just how it is. But according to the Bible, it's not going to be like this for, any, for very long, man. All right. You got anything? I continue. Kanye, go ahead. So as for uh, Isaiah 47 and 4, as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wrought with my people. I have polluted my inheritance. And that's why the Israelites are jacked up today, man. Helly Fall is rough with us, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And he has allowed you damn devils of the nation to pollute us, man. In the ghettos, wherever, wherever we live, man, we're polluted. We're bombarded with the goddamn cops. The cops are always fucking with us and shit. Every time I pass by a cop, man, I got, you know, I tighten up my button shit. <laughs> the fuck, man? Because you know you're, you're a target, man. We, we, we are, are, are polluted with lies and hypocrisy, man. All right, and the Holy Father is one that did us, did that to us, and teach us a lesson, man. Yep. You know, 